most men who are trying to produce a life away from living in their mother's house will do one of two things. They will acknowledge that they have had a failure and they will figure a way to slowly maneuver themselves, even if it takes years after that failure, to get out of their own way. There are men, however, who will live with their mother, and as a result, they sort of resort and re revise themselves back to childhood. A man who is trying to go somewhere, trying to produce himself in a new way because he's been an alcoholic, he's been a drug addict, he's been whatever his vice has been in a way that was immoral, will start to participate in groups that will keep him on the straight and narrow in many areas of his life. But in the simplest of terms, people have a professional life and a personal life. A professional life requires a certain sort of dress, standard, and fashion in order to move oneself out of inexpensive income into something that is more salaried and openly available to them. You see, to be available to new money, you have to be open to how money is made. And every human being across America can read the Rich Dad, Poor Dad series to understand how wealth is developed. But moving yourself then from that knowledge into real opportunity is up to you in every way. And if you spend your waking hours watching television, sleeping, drinking, whatever, you're not planning your life in any way. The liar of America wears his hair inappropriately. The liar of America disregards priests like me. The liars of America think they have the right to control religion and say what is and isn't the Lord's house, and they don't in any way by any construct of the Bible, the Quran, or probably the Vedas, which are the most important books across most of the world today. But we also have Confucius, we also have Mentis, we also have Lao Tzu, we have Musashi, we have all sorts of Aikido instructors that can give you a way. The question is, are you ready for the way, the truth, and the life of the Lord has planned for you? But most likely, if you're still playing in I'm going to be a hip, cool guy with this new hairdo, you're not. If you're still wearing your britches under your ass and putting your hoodie up over your head when it's not cold, you're not ready for manhood in any way. I don't know one successful person in business, in retail, or in a salaried job that does that in any way. It's true that once you've made it, you can dress like a hip-hop rapper. Of course you can. Look at all the husbands of all the beauty queens across the land. Even Adam Sandler got himself a gorgeous woman. Who knows what their relationship's like, but my guess is he made her laugh. In America, we have rights, and part of your responsibility as a man is to find yourself a mate, however you can. But that mate impacts your abilities in life, and that mate will either raise you up higher or will drag you down to the gutter. But when you don't mate, you lose your life. You literally lose your life in your own psychological games. I've seen that time and time and again across my friends network, across my social opportunities in business and in life. But what I was saying is that you have that professional life, you have that personal life. And what you're constructing for yourself in every way, every single day, is your personal and professional brand. It's true that there are companies that know how to hire Stupidville. They hire Stupidville because stupid does work. Stupid does show up almost on time. Stupid does stock shelves without any problem. Stupidville does take pride in doing it well, but Stupidville doesn't leave a job to go on to something better or higher. Now, I apologize for saying that because I know there's marvelous people who are really excellent and really study what to do in retail and in other industrial environments like manufacturing where you can make a good living and be honorable in what you're doing because you're serving the American continent in every way in that position, just as you are in retail. You are serving American citizens with your customer service. You are serving America with your ability to stock a shelf. You are serving the vendors of America in every way or the vendors of an international world. So in essence, you're a brand representative. But what is your brand? What are you presenting to people? Regardless of who it is, a boy, a girl, a man, a black, a white, a Hispanic, a Latino, an Indian, what are you presenting? I know what I choose to present to people. I choose to present the front that I have rights, and you're not going to take them from me. But in your case, you're fully employed. So by all means, to be the best boy, the best girl you can be in that environment. 
and then you'll get the regard of men and then you'll get interest from women but if you're playing in the shadows if you're playing I'm a good guy today but I'm not a good guy tomorrow then that's on your life because at some point you're gonna face your God whatever that might be and people love to say well your God is this and my God is this no there's one God how blasphemous of you to say so how blasphemous you are to imply that someone has a different God than you no just as a different version of religion than you he has a different principle that he may follow than you but people choose to walk in the light or dwell in the darkness and when they dwell in darkness their life goes nowhere when they play they're in charge of people they literally lose their lives to their illness their illness is I'm in charge of someone I'm gonna school someone I'm gonna train someone I'm gonna teach someone no you're now an illness especially if that person is a total stranger to you now you might like a friendship with that person then you have to be a friend isn't that true isn't that what we teach our elementary schools gotta be a friend to have a friend gotta have a friend and be a friend give me a break those words work well but children are barely schooled before they get to school with how to be appropriately social there's a selfishness that crosses the land that says I'm in charge of everything really I've never seen you get out of your car and feed a goose and you don't know what they do for environment but American citizens who grew up during my generation were trained how to handle the environment that is a gift of the Lord and the gifts of the Lord need help sometimes I got three little geese I'm worried about I got two ducks I'm worried about they're not mine they're the Lord's and I might have to talk to someone who can fix what's going on with them because they're not gonna make it poor little Bethany can't pick up any food today because of what someone did to her beak or what she accidentally did to her beak which is rude but openly that's okay she's a little goose who got his name not my name but in life what I'm talking about is the truth of the world that the truth of the world says you are not a man until you've earned enough to provide for your life provide for your wife provide for your children I've done that several times actually in two continents I did that in Japan I did that in America and right now I'm in struggle because people keep hitting my life little bastard monsters who have no wife and no life ahead of them are hitting my computer stealing my property interfering with my job prospects ruining my photographs of my spouse who the fuck gave you the right to do that 